So this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the Proform Tour de France bike from Costco. So I'm going to explain the parts here. So you have your seat with the seat post. You have your stabilizing bar for the rear. You have your front stabilizing bar and that's the one that has the wheels on it and the wheels go pointed towards the front. You've got uh, the tools and bolts that it comes with. The uh, card for the fit membership. Your instructions, a wrench, some Allen wrenches. That piece is a little plastic uh, motor cover, which will go right here. And then you've got your handlebars up here. Your display and pad holder and the mount for that. And inside the box is the uh, little dis LCD display. And it takes three AA batteries, uh, which are not included. Uh, but don't put those in until afterwards, until after you've plugged in all of the uh, harnesses. So the first thing that you should do is to put the stabilizer platform on it. That way it doesn't uh, tip. And the first one should be the one that you put on is the uh, front. Actually. So you've got to pick it up and slide it underneath. Again with the wheels pointed to the front. And just line up the holes. And in these holes will go Two of the M10 screws, which are these ones. So make sure those are lined up. And you want to finger tighten them if, if you can, so that you don't cross thread with a tool. that one's in all the way and then you see the top up here is an allen wrench setting so you're going to use one of your allen wrench tools to tighten those so the reason why it has a head on one side is so that you can make the micro adjustments like this and then you turn put the other end in where you have longer leverage to tighten it like this forgive me for kind of making oversimplifying this but some people may not know what these tools are for or may not have used them so again, use that side to turn it while it's easy. And then once it gets hard enough and you need more leverage, you use that side. So there you go. Now we'll go and do the back side. So you pick up the back side and slide it underneath, line up the holes. And just like the front one, that's going to use the remainder of the two M10 bolts. And again, line those up just right where you can put them in easily by hand. If it's not going in that easy, you may have to bump it back and forth to get it to line up. These should 
going fairly easy by hand. And then again, use this portion of the tool to do the easy part. And then the other side to tighten it all the way. Okay, now that uh, the stabilizer bars have been put on, the bike is now pretty stable. Next thing we're going to put on is the seat and put the seat post down the seat tube. The way that this works is you unscrew this handle out all the way, which it already is, and then it pulls out like this. There's a pin inside. I'm not sure that you can see it here. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see it. It pulls the pin out. And allows you to slide the seat post up and down. So you can grab your seat post, place it down with the seat going forward, of course. It won't go in any other way. Pull your handle out and then put the seat post into the desired position until it drops and clicks into place there and I'm just going to set it there for now I'm not sure what height I'm going to need it at yet and then you tighten you twist that till it tightens up and then pull this out again to place it downward so that it's parallel and not sticking out where you may catch it on something Then you can loosen this up by going counterclockwise and your seat will slide forward and backward. So I'm going to set it in the middle for right now and tighten it up. And this can also pull out and stow off the way. I'll do all of the adjustments later on once I put in the uh, the pedals. So it does come with some decent pedals with toe clips. However, um, I ride clipped in, so I'm going to put uh, some Shimano SPD pedals on it instead of these ones. Okay, so the next thing we're going to install is the handlebars. Uh, for this, you'll need a lovely assistant like mine. <laughs> so, if you can see, it's got a wire in here. And they've supplied a wire that's tied onto the uh, your push brake here. And you're going to use this wire. This is actually a wire pull for you to pull that through. So the purpose of this wire is to tie it around here so that you can use it. pull this wire through and you want to be careful not to pinch any of the wire so tilt it up and put it in there just hold it there for now and then find the bottom end okay thanks to my lovely assistant she held the handlebars while I was able to uh, feed that through and then you find your wire here that's tied, the other end is tied to your adjustment handle. 
and you pull that down and you feed your wire all the way up where you can hook it onto this one here. So then you uh, you clip the two pieces together and it obviously only goes in one way and you want to make sure you push that together where you hear it click and then the wire you can remove and just discard that wire and it comes with uh, another zip tie that you can put that piece in and zip tie it close it up where uh, where that doesn't come apart and then you can just trim uh, trim the end there you could tell her what you okay the next thing we're going to do to avoid pinching all these wires is you're going to place this cover over it using a M4 20 millimeter screw which is this one and that will go in that hole in this hole in the mounting bracket so there I put it on you actually need a Phillips screwdriver in order to uh, put that on and it didn't come with it so you gotta use your own and the adjustments for the handlebars are just like the adjustments for the uh, seat. So it's the same exact thing. You you pull it out and move this up and down until you, you get the desired height. And then you tighten it up. And then you can pull it out and turn that down. So the next thing we're going to put on is the console mount. As you see, this also has a wire connection on this side and one on this side. So you can remove the uh, rubber band. And then once you get them connected, you're going to use the wire they provided on the upper end of the console to pull these wires through. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these and clip them together. So now that they're clipped together, I cut the uh, rubber bands off both ends. And now as my lovely assistant aligns the tubes together up here, I will gently pull on this wire. Hold on to get the uh, connection out through the hole. We have a spectator. There we go, so that's through. We have a spectator. She says we have a spectator. Stand by. We have a spectator. This little guy here, actually a little gal, beautiful little praying mantis, named Manti. Hi, Manti. <laughs> hi, Manti. She's a baby. Say hi. She's been with us several days, catching moths. Okay, Manti. That was the extra bonus for this video. So the bolts that we will use to mount that console bracket are these two M6 bolts. And those obviously only go through one way with the larger portion coming from the left side as you face the front of it. And remember, you've got that wire running through the tube 
So you've got to maneuver these up and down in order to get past the wire on this other side here. And you can use that Phillips screwdriver to push the wire up or down just to be able to get those to the other side. And then once you've got those aligned, you can put the other, uh, this side through to meet it on the other side. So once you've got those through and finger tight to make sure they're not cross threaded, then you use both of your Allen wrenches, one on each side to tighten both of those up. And next we will put the uh, console into the console deck like this so that it's oriented the proper way. And we will put four screws in here and those are the four M4 16 millimeter screws, which are these ones in the upper left corner. Okay, seems like I'm running out of light here, so next, um, after you've mounted the console onto the uh, plate there, using those screws, and those screws you actually needed a your Phillips screwdriver again. So while your lovely assistant holds this here, you're going to connect these two wires and then push that connection inside the hole there. So I've got those connected and I've pushed those back into the hole. And now, if you recall, this little rubber wire protector was inside there. So this goes wrapped around the wire. And then it gets pushed into the hole to protect the wire from being pinched. It takes a little bit of uh, force to be able to push those rubber ends inside you've got the wire protected in the middle and you're fine and then your console deck will mount back here using the four remaining screws the M412 screws go in the back here one on each side And there you've got your four screws. This handy dandy Phillips screwdriver will be needed for several screws in this project. It's all coming together. Like I said the last thing that I have to do is install the batteries into this. This tilts up and down. So you can install the uh, AAA batteries in the back here. Back in there. And then the pedals. And like I said, I'm going to use um, SPD pedals instead of the uh, pedals that it's supplied with. So that includes, uh, or that concludes rather, the uh, the instructions on how. To put your proform 
bike together. Like I said, all that remains is me putting on the pedals. Now you can adjust the angle of this, of your, uh, your deck there and tighten it. However, they did not include the tools to tighten that, so you'll need a smaller Allen wrench and wrench on this side if you want if you want to adjust this where it'll stay at the angle that you want it at otherwise it'll it'll hang almost straight down and uh, remember when you're installing your pedals Uh, it uh, it tells you which way to uh, install the pedals so that you don't get that mixed up and happy riding have fun on your uh, new proform bike if you like the video please comment below uh, just bear with all of the uh, stop and start Thanks to my lovely assistant for helping me. And your crew back there. And little Manti back there. One last look at Manti. Last looks, Manti. And action. Action, Manti. <laughs> <laughs> she should turn her head.